Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today I want to take a little bit of time to answer another question that I've been asked in my comments a lot and, and that is Sim, what gear and weapon do you think is the best set that got added to the Hot and Hazy update? Now please take this with a grain of salt because this is my opinion, okay? So this is all about my experience and my gameplay style. So if you play the game a lot like the way that I do, then this gameplay style will work for you. I will point out one other build that I would definitely use uh, for another play style that I have in the game. But before we go any further, make sure you guys hit that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below of which of these gear sets you would prefer to use more. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over all the different, different armors and weapons that got added to the game. So let's start with that. So first of all, the different weapons that got added to the game are the Antlion Greatsword, the Salt Morning Star, the Black Ant Sword, and also the uh, Black Ant Shield. Non-weapons that are still in the weapon screen are Salt mint and spicy arrows as well as the black ant shovel more on the arrows here in just a little bit over into armor we have the ant line gear and the crusty roly-poly gear that's really good as well as a black ant helmet and the rest of the black ant gear that goes along with it so each of these sets will give different bonuses to different play styles but what i'm currently wearing right now in my opinion when it's fully upgraded is the best set of gear that got added to the game and the best build to have it with. This set that I'm currently wearing is a full set of roly-poly gear, a black ant shield, and a salt morning star. Why am I so head over heels in love with this setup? First of all, let's talk the weapon. The weapon is a bashing type weapon that comes stocked with the salty perk already on it. So that means you get to go down the mighty path with it, which will give you up to 80% more damage on your weapon and 80% durability, which is great, which means you're not going to be repairing this guy very often because the repair cost for this guy is a little steep at four um, salt shards and two quartzite shards. If you do some grinding, not that bad, but still, it's a little steep. The other thing that I use is a black ant shield. Now, there is a trick with why I use this black ant shield, and I'll tell you guys about that in just a second. But this is a sturdy shield used of red ant parts. It is stronger than your standard weevil shield, which is why I like using using this one more than the Weevil Shield, and then the Roly Poly Gear. The Roly Poly Gear has the best defense in the game, and it does block you from being stunned, so you don't have to worry about stunning. Granted, this is a heavy armor, which means it's going to use more stamina while running, and you will not recover stamina as quickly when fighting. But still, it is a really, really good gear set for it to use because of the set bonus. The set bonus here builds on the availability for you to use a shield. These shields in the game become impervious to use and really, really needed because you need to block a lot of damage when it comes to this new update. And with one of the new perks we're gonna go over in a second, it becomes really needed. But this invincible shielding perk, what does it give you? It makes it so whenever you're blocking, you have a chance to repair your shield. Isn't that crazy? So now not only are you blocking damage, but you're also repairing your shield while using it. That's crazy. Making this gear set meant for a brawler type gameplay like I have. I am definitely a brawler in this game when it comes to fighting. I like to run in, block some damage, and use a weapon that's fairly quick and attack pretty fast. So this is an excellent, excellent setup for somebody who wants to use a brawler type playthrough like I do. The perk that I use more than any other one now that I keep on no matter what is Parry Master. Parry Master is going to make it a little bit easier when blocking attacks and also is going to help you refill that stamina bar if you perfect block. That's what I have noticed through gameplay so it's pretty good. I would suggest you guys use this set if you are a brawler and use that perk with it. Now let's talk two other really quick sets that you can use as well. Um, one inquires this armor set that's right here so I'm going to go ahead and put on on this awesome new armor set which is called the antlion gear the antlion gear gives you a set bonus of quick draw and the damage resistance on it or the defense is actually quite high this is a light armor so it's going to allow you to move around a lot more and it's beneficial for those of you who are fighting over in the hit over in the sandbox because you can avoid sizzle because it gives you sizzle protection what this would best be suited for is a ranged type gameplay i made an entire video on this 
because the ranged setup now is awesome and you can really use this set for you guys that are going out there that want to do some buku damage to people and are ready to do some range damage and can move around really quickly. So this is another build that would be absolutely fantastic. Would be using these antlion parts with say, if we go over here with the awesome new crow crossbow that got added in the last update, as well as the salt, mint and spicy arrows as well. So go ahead and check those guys on out because this set can become a very, very dangerous set if you are good with ranged weapons now this last set is a bonus for you guys who watch all the way to the end this last set is called the suicide set um i know that sounds really really scary when i say that but this set is all about taking damage and dealing damage okay this armor set requires the black ant gear that got added to the game and you guessed it the brand new um uh, the antlion greatsword that got added to the game because this antlion greatsword is a little bit faster and does a lot of damage But it takes a lot of stamina to use and the black ant gear if you put it on you not only get an awesome set bonus of um the adding more stun to the enemies that you are fighting if i could find my way here not only can you add more stun which stun plus which is great and you get that for each piece of armor but you also get if you get it all the way filled up a perk called pin cushion which will actually reverse damage back to the attacker so it makes sense for you to get hit wearing this gear which is why i have named it the way that i have this gear is pretty much meant for you to be a kamikaze which is really really a cool way to fight in this game it's more or less get your stuff and get in there and take damage don't block just take damage and that's what it's for and that's a pretty cool build that you can put in there so obviously as i said my favorite build will that's always stick safe. with the gear that i was wearing before Safer. which is this right here wearing myself my awesome roly poly gear that got added the helmet could use a little bit of work because i prefer the ladybug look over this one but hey that's personal opinion like i said and also with the black ant shield and the salt morning star all the way upgraded if you can get it there but to me this is the best armor and gear set that got added to the game go out and check this one out for yourself see if it works for you guys because i really like it so thank you guys all so much for watching this video if you guys liked it please hit that like button for me to let me know you guys want to see more also you guys could please leave me a comment down below of which of these gear sets you're the most interested in using and also please don't forget to subscribe and as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.